Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to line up your bed on the big boys, okay? So, as you guys know, I received this here somehow in shipping, something went damaged, and this chain was loose, the whole bed, it was twisted. I kind of got it a little bit close, but we're going to do a little bit more touch up to make sure it's almost 100% perfect. The first thing I recommend is always to level your machine. That's the first thing you want to do. So I leveled it this way, and I leveled it down. Basically, I have my leveler. I put it here, and I made sure my machine was leveled. Okay, and then I put it in there. Now, when I leveled my machine, I, did, I put it actually on this Z, I mean, uh, Y or X axis, whatever you want to call it, okay? I did not use the bed cover. I used the actual Y and X. Okay, that's how I level my machine. Okay, now what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna bring this laser. We're gonna put it here, and I'm gonna show you an easier way to level this up. Then I'm gonna take it all the way there. And I'm gonna take it all the way there, and I'm gonna bring it here. I am actually gonna use the laser head to level it up. That way, to make sure when my head goes here, it's the same level. When it goes over there, when it goes over there, when it goes over there. Because you guys, as you guys know, focus is very important. And you do not want your level to be up. Then you're going to get different, you know, results from here and here and there. I do recommend you to do this. Even if your machine is new, don't have this on it. Double check it. You never know from manufacturing. Maybe it could be something wrong in shipping or something. Your frame got bent or something. So, if again, if this area here is higher than that area of course when you're gonna go over there start engraving something over there you're gonna be out of focus so you want to make sure your focus 100% all over the place so let me show you what I'm gonna do to level it up so you have two ways to do this okay you can take the chain out okay and actually start looping it but that give you that's a little bit hard because you won't get accurate 100% leveling because the distance between each thread is a little bigger. There is a screw in here you can open up, okay, that will loosen this guy up, and then you can just twist this guy by hand. Makes your bed goes up and down. It depends how much you need. So what I'm gonna do, I am gonna actually use the honeycomb as it is. I'm going to try to bring my laser all the way to some to last point. Okay, so we're going to go this way. So I'm going to exit, actually, the level. I'm going to go all the way that way. And I'm touching. And I'm going to bring it all the way. Got an arrow because I touched, which is I'm going to back up a little bit. I'm going to go this way all the way somewhere here. Okay? So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to try to get some something to make sure this, this thing always is going to be the same. Okay? So I'm going to get something to measure this, this thing from here to here. I recommend getting like a little block. So what I have, I just have these circles. And I will talk about these later on what I did in a different video. Uh, so I have these circles. They sit okay here. And I'm going to bring my bed all the way up to touch this guy. Let's see. So we're gonna go to actual our screen here, and if you click, which is function, I believe this button is. The first one is z-axis. If you go right to left, it's gonna bring one up and one down. So right it brings it down, left brings it up. So we're gonna bring the bed all the way till it touches. You can see. So now I'm touching. Gonna go back a little bit. And I can hear the voice actually of the air compressor. So now I'm barely, barely touching. I can do a little touch. So now I'm touching. You can see I'm stopping the air. There's air, and I'm stopping it. So I'm actually good. Now we're gonna try, which is 
the cool coach came off it's okay now we're gonna try to take this guy all the way to that end okay make sure always nothing in the way and make sure this guy is not close to anywhere because you can damage this so now we're gonna go back we're gonna exit and go what I mean with exit because I had to click escape because I was in Z axis now escape to home screen now I can push my laser all the way in the back okay so now by me going all the way down there now we're gonna see what result I'm getting okay so here right now I'm all the way in the end let's see let me put this block now I'm gonna end up my honeycomb so you can see it is a little bit high okay I can move show you guys for a second I can this guy moving up and down okay so I know this end is little, just a little bit higher so I have a couple way to do this again but I'm gonna use the best way is the one I was showing you earlier so what we're gonna do we're gonna put this guy here leave it here and I'm gonna go in the back and try to race try to race the bed before I do that, I'm going to check the other corners, this corner here and that corner, then we'll to be on the safe side. Okay, so now we're going to go to that corner over there. I'm going to bring the laser to that corner while we're recording. I see this corner here right now. We're gonna put that block in there. This corner is high, a little bit higher, so I cannot even I cannot even fit this block underneath. Now we're gonna bring it to this corner here. Be careful not to hit my camera. I'm gonna go here. I am here way high so this corner is way lower okay so I am gonna adjust that corner first to show you guys how easy it is so what we're gonna do we're gonna go in the bottom right now and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna try and show you guys just give me a look Let's see if I can give you a better look of this guy so what we're gonna do we're gonna open the screw here Okay, we're gonna get an allen wrench here, and we're gonna open this bolt over here. Okay, we're gonna loosen it up that way so the chain will not move when I turn this way. Okay, sorry guys for the camera all over the place, but again. Here is the actual block, and this is what I'm going to tie this way or that way. We'll figure it out in a minute. Just to give you guys an idea. So now I have the block over here. You can see it's moving, touching up and down. So I'm going to turn it. Just be careful. There's a lot of grease in here, but it's okay. Might as well. I'm just going to grab it. Now, if I go this way, it's going down. Gonna turn this way. You can see the chain is not moving. Not, not, neither this one. It's just a bed going up. So you now, I'm almost there. I can hear the voice. And now, that's it. It's locked. You see, it's too tight. I'm gonna lose it just a hair. And now, it's perfectly aligned here. Move it. What I'm gonna do right now? I'm gonna tie the screw. Bolt very hard. This will be the easiest method to actually adjust your bed. I will do the other one, but I will not waste your time. Okay, but this is the idea. Okay, so there's that bolt over there. You're going to open up and you're going to unscrew this guy here. Level on it with the actual nozzle, the bottom of the nozzle. So if you can see, you know, 
uh, I'm pushing on the bed a little bit that makes a difference too okay it does go down let me push on it but at least I know I was very close to here okay move it out there's air put it back in almost no air that's how close I am I will do that corner there it's a little bit off too and then I'll be it I hope you like this video if you have any questions or any comment please again leave it below and I'll try my best to answer have a nice day